Okay, welcome to the Astra Lightning round of demos part two, where we're going to focus on the build stage of the network lifecycle management. Okay, so remember that reference architecture, the template that we just built. Okay, well, that is a theoretical way to build networks and the way your firm's going to build networks. Well, now we're actually going to build them. And how do we actually build them? Well, we create things called blueprints, okay? So here's an already what well, blueprint we built before, which I believe I showed you, and it's just a very simple one. But what I want to show you is actually how to build a new one from scratch. So, and based on the reference architects that we built before. So create blueprint, we'll call it demo blue, or really demo DC. Uh, New Jersey, uh, Newark, uh, one, okay, in case you have multiple Newark data centers. Uh, and the template is going to be demo reference architecture, okay? Now, this is what we designed already. Remember, this is following the architecture standard, so that's good, but this is actually a building of uh, a network based on that standard. And it's going to look like this, great, okay? So we say create, and it starts building some scaffolding, which I love saying, it's a cool word. And when it's done, you're going to see a lot of red. And red just means we need to fill in a lot more detail because there's building specific things here, okay? There's vendor specific things, cabling specific things, okay? So here it is again. Uh, we could show off the ser servers if you really want to see them. See? Gorgeous. I actually really like that UI. Uh, okay, so here are the, all the items that we need to fill in because we can't, we can't, we, we, we want to make sure we understand where you want to, us to pull from. Namely, IP address and BGPAS information, okay? So up here, we actually have resources defined. So IP pools, we can define locally here, which maybe you assigned in an IPAM, or we can actually uh, look link this programmatically through an API to talk to your IPAM directly, okay? So we have all these created already, so I don't want to go ahead and, and, and reinvent the wheel there. Um, so we go back to here and we say, okay, cool. And, and we, oh, I'm sorry, we have the same thing with BGPAS, all right? So you just create pools there. So we go through here and we say, okay, cool, choose a pool. We can do individually or just choose them both. For the purpose of the demo, we'll just choose both. And we don't have to wait till the other one's done. You just keep going like this. Great. Okay, now loopbacks, right? So we need a loopback everywhere, right? Now, now these are slash 32s, as we well know. And uh, AOS is smart enough to figure that out. And then the leaves, same deal. There's a bunch of those. Okay. And then these here, the spine leaves, all of these links, they need slash 30s, right? Well, again, AOS is smart enough to do that, so it grabs it from those pools. And external router connectivity, you know, it gets red here. And, and yeah, there'll be more than one router, don't worry about that. But uh, this is where you assign, oh, I'm sorry, I missed something there. So we say yes, choose it from there. Again, you'd probably choose one pool not the whole thing and then finished here great okay so all these are green that's great but now we see something poking out here which is red okay what is that device models remember we haven't chosen a vendor yet no idea what vendor we're going to use yet okay but here we are it's time to choose it says we got our design we got everything configured so now we go and shop it we say okay mr cisco rep talk to me see what i'm trying to build here i know what i want to build i don't want to do any design that you tell me to, I want to do my own design. So if you guys can help me here, then great. Give me a price for this, okay? So they give you a bomb and a price. Cool, then you go to Mr. Arista and say, do say the same thing. And then you go to Mrs. Juniper uh, and ask the same thing. And then at the last minute you say, oh, by the way, Cumulus, what would you do? And you, you get a price on that. And you're like, wait, what? And then Cumulus is something ridiculously cheap. Uh, because you have to also get the hardware too separately, let's be clear. So regardless, you figure all that out, and now you're ready to assign models. Okay, so for the purpose of the first build, you do it. You can do batch, but you can totally do this one by one. So what's nice about this is we just we just present the items that fit your requirements. So there's only two that we have right now in, in the system. So it's a Cisco and Arista in this case. Okay. Doesn't mean there can't be a Juniper in there too. We just don't have it populated in this particular demo. Okay, uh, and here's the leaves, and you see the options there. Great, I'm gonna use Cumulus for those leaves. And then for the, the compute, well, they're running MLAG, we're gonna use, you see all the different options in here. Let's, let's do Cisco, okay. And then for layer three, we wanna use, we'll just throw up there, here's an Arista, okay. Great, so now those are all assigned, and that's great. And then we also have these routers over here that we need to assign. 
So this is for external routers. So this was a pool. We, we actually assigned this over here too. See external routers. Uh, we created them. Remember that it's not critical for the pod. Just you know trying to get off the pod. So we have them assigned here. Uh, we could just say uh, example one router you brought. And these names are, you know are pretty lame for a demo, but you get my point. Great, and then our whole thing is shaping up here. This is still red for some reason. I must have not hit save. Okay, so let's just hit save there. Okay, so when I did that, at least I think I hit that. This is really not, oh, there it is, sorry. Yeah, I'm ahead of myself. Okay, so that's great. So now they're all assigned. Now watch this. Now, normally you'd say, okay, cool, I got this all assigned. Now I'm gonna actually assign a configuration to them. But what? so cool is that while we were talking, I already came up with the configs. There they are. Okay, this is the spine config. See this? It's already rendered. And notice this is an Arista uh, feature. Okay? Now, but what about, let's go over here, and what is this thing? Okay, let's check it out. Now let's see what, what, what format this is. It's also an Arista. Okay. And what about this guy? And this guy is a, I think this is Cisco, you get my point. Okay. Yeah, let's see, there's a Cisco. Now, what if I wanted to change it on the fly? We can do that. You ready? Watch. Here we chose a Cisco. No, I want to go to Cumulus, okay? Boom, said save. Great. Now I go back here, look at the device. I say, show me that config again, please. Ah, uh, there you go. There's a config. You know how long that would take manually? We just did it literally pressing a button. Come on, you gotta love that. That's cool, right? Okay. Now, something also that's neat is we go here, we go to links, and this shows you everything, how everything's cabled up. So yes, the dreaded cut sheet that people hate putting together, but is necessary when you mount this stuff, right? And when you actually physically install it. So now we have it right here. We're done. Here you go. You give it to your smart hands, and you say, here you go. Could you please cable it up this way? Here are the names of the devices, and so on. Okay, that's the end of the build stage, but we're just getting started. Wait another 10 seconds for the next part where we actually automate the deploy stage, which is what a lot of people call the automation. And we could we just call provisioning or config management. Salt, Ansible, Puppet, Chef are examples of, of people doing this part of it, and it's a critical part of automation, but... As you've seen, if you watch the other videos and future videos, you'll see that there's so much more to automation. Okay, so see you shortly.